I got the Winchester Model 77 out for some fun. Let's see if we're going to avoid knocking it over. Give you the quick flyby. And I have thrown my Barska 3 to 9 by I think 32. On here I took it off of my Glenfield 20 because I've accomplished what I want to do with that. The uh, mill dot scope I had on this one earlier, which I didn't get on camera. I can't get the elevation to change so we're just going to go with this and I'm going to start with some uh, let's do a five round group I do like this rifle uh, you'll find out the charging handle is over here and if you forget to drop the thumb it will remind you in a hurry that you made a mistake You'll know it right away, and you'll all have to do it a couple times before you finally figure it out. Okay, I'm going to load up with some, uh, yeah, CCI, mini mag, 36 grain hollow point. These are copper plaid, clad. The other ones that I have are actually lead. So that might explain why I have different groups. Okay, that's in. There, now it's in. There, we're in battery. Yep. All right, let's see where this is shooting first. This is initial sight in. Center target. Not a bad trigger. She's a little a little high and a little left. Okay, I don't have a bolt to deal with here, so let's uh, take another shot. Yep. Okay, we will adjust this down. I'm going to go ahead and change the scope and we'll be back in. Alrighty, another definite candidate for a squirrel shooter. I just shot a dime size group with the Aguila Super Extra, the newer stuff. This is uh, basically the same thing, this is a little bit older and I think these are lead nose. Let's pull that back out again real quick. Uh, yes, these are lead nose and these are copper copper clad. So the copper clads give me a little bit better group. Actually, I'm going to try the lead nose now, but I'm pretty sure the copper clad is going to give me a little better group. In fact, I'm not sure. Did I shoot three shots or five? It was a three round group. Okay. Let's do a three round group. Come on. You know what? Let's just do a five round group. There's not a whole lot of this stuff left. Let's use it up. Okay, let me load this mag up. I'll be right back. Actually, I will show the mag. Let's get behind the camera. But uh, it's got this handy dandy little knob that you can pull things down with. Makes it easier to load so you don't have to wear your thumbs and fingers out trying to get everything in. Okay, let's take these shots and I'll be back. Alrighty, make sure I'm on frame. Yeah, that's good. Alright, five rounds. The older Aguila Super X lead nose. And I'm going to put that 
Well, I didn't put up extra tar dots on here. I'm not going to do a heck of a lot of shooting here. Okay, bottom right, uh, left. Shooting just a little left. That's a moment of score, although. Alrighty. What else do I want to try? I did the meat eaters. I'm sighted in with meat eaters. Oh. I'll find something and I'll be back. Okay. Can't see anything in the sun. So I think this was uh, probably the CCI 40 grain round nose. This I think was the, the older CCI hollow point. These were lead slugs, 36 grain. This was the 36 grain, I believe, CCI... Um, Copper clad, 36 grain, hollow point. And it looks like there's only two shots there. There should be three. Anyway, I think I switched over to the Aguila here. And this was the newer, I believe, Aguila. So, uh, yep, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Had a good day. Oh, yeah, this is where I switched over to the Model 70. This was, I think, the CCI. Hollow point, 36. That was probably the older Aguila, and I think this was the newer Aguila. Didn't do a lot of shooting. As you can see, she's still the queen of Pew in the Clark House. Later, friends. We're at the 25 yard range, and this is also called the pistol range because. But a lot of people come over here and, uh, you know, use the 25 yard for their initial sighting in. Next time we come out, I want to go over to the 50 yard range. We didn't today because there was already two guys over there running big boar. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to concentrate when you have cannons going off right next to you. Uh, that's the 50 yard. Down there's the 100 yard. I'll probably try that with the 22s as well. Soon I want to get the AR 47s out and uh, see what I can do with those. But I want to try the uh, 22s at 50 and 100 and see what we can do. I might bring the uh, silhouette gong out and uh, see if we can't ring some steel while we're here. But uh, yeah, great farm rifle club. It's a great place. We picked up quite a few new members this year. And uh, that's always good because that means more dues keeps the club in the black. All right, later on, we're going to pick up, clean up, get out of here. Bye.